Good day, everyone. Thanks for joining us here at WSKI TV 17. And remember to see our website, WSKITV.com, all year round for this forecast brought to you by Geppettos. You can find them at the base of the lifts on the mountain. And what a glorious weekend, looking pretty good for Sunday. Temperatures at the summit in the lower teens and the base, lower 20s. Winds don't look to be much of an issue. We will see clouds on the increase and overnight on Sunday, expecting to pick up a few inches of fluff. So that's all. Always appreciated. On Monday, summit temperatures in the single digits at the base, lower 20s. A little bit more of a breeze on Monday, especially at the summit, and we will see that snow taper off to flurries throughout the day. On Tuesday, looking mighty fine with a high of 20. Sunny skies, increasing clouds, though, will bring in a weather system on Wednesday. We're keeping our eyes on. Let's hope it stays all snow. What a shame after all these cold temperatures to see it nudge above freezing. We want to hold on to the pow. At any rate, we'll see those temperatures drop right back down once again. And for Thursday, partly sunny skies with definitely below freezing temperatures. Birchwood Interiors brings you our trail reports. And for Sunday, the 1st of March... 143 trails and trail sections, 63 will be groomed overnight. Wonderful powder and pack powder out on the hill. Timberline, bridal chain, buckskin, spurline, cinder hoe up high. Tote Road, Kings, Hayburner, Gage, Comp, Sluice, Spillway, Laurel Winters, Candyside, Boardwalk, Landing Birch, Snowbrook, and of course, all of Gondola Line, White Nitro, and Wedge. So all of you double black diamonds. All the way down to the beginners at the Landing Birches and Snowbrook. Look forward to sweet corduroy on all of those trails first thing in the morning. Get up good and early to beat the rush. They're going to make a pass down Ripsaw over on the east side off of the top of King Pine, as well as doing all of Hallback, Flume, Widowmaker, Ram down two hall Whiffle Tree Rollway Slasher and Upper Pole Line off of Whiffle Tree Cheerier Lift. Scoot Window, Horseshoe and Good Chance off of Bucksaw. And a ton of work to be done on the terrain parks to make sure they're a heap of fun for you as well on Sunday. Snubber starts up at 8 o'clock on the weekends, followed by Skidway and Sawduster at 830. And the Moose Collator at 9 o'clock at the bottom of the mountain. Getting a little bit further up into some intermediate terrain is Double Runner East and West as well to follow at 830. 8 o'clock. West Mountain Chairlift starts up to get folks over on that side of the mountain over to the village area nice and early. Then we'll have the Super Quad, Skyline, Number 3T, and at 9 o'clock, Timberline and Bucksaw, all to follow suit. Wiffle Tree down below, King Pine up above on the east side. They should be good to go at 8.30 in the morning as well. So with 14 lifts available for you to ride up, make sure you get out good and early to enjoy. Outdoor center will be a hive of activity with the excellent snow conditions. There is ice skating until 8 o'clock on Saturday nights as well as all throughout the daytimes with pickup hockey on Tuesday and Thursday evenings. If you're a local, you probably know all about that. But if you're not, you can still show up. They've got all the gear. And conditions are also fantastic for snowmobiling. You can even rent a sled up in Stratton at Flagstaff Rentals. So get out and ride, everybody. Conditions are fantastic. Take advantage of the warm-up and the temperatures and get out and play. Next weekend, Friday through Sunday, morning and evening shows. That's six shows. We'll be giving away a Thule rack when we wrap up things on Sunday night. So be sure to watch and win with WSKI.